Hey, what's up guys? D from Desert Tactical here. Welcome to the channel. Today, I want to go over two micro dots from Sulisi Optics. The owl in a doctor footprint and the oak in an RMR footprint. Let's get to it. Alright guys, full disclosure, these optics were sent to the channel by Sulisi Optics for testing and review at no cost to me and there was no monetary exchange. All right, jumping into the optics, let's go over the Oak first. The Oak is the model I've had the longest and already have a full video on. The Oak is a 3MOA RMR footprint optic made with an aluminum housing and a 24mm window. The optic runs on a top-loading CR1632 battery rated for a maximum battery life of 50,000 hours. It is auto-off and shake-awake, so that number will vary from user to user. With 1MOA click adjustments, the Oak is easy to zero. This optic is available in either a red or a green dot version. I have both, but I much prefer the red over the green, although both are very clear and crisp and plain and bright if needed. It comes in with two night vision and eight daytime brightness levels. The Sulisi Oak red and green dots that I have have performed well. They have gone through many rounds as I continue to use them on my builds and they have held zero, no issues there. Don't worry if you get some water on it, it's IPX7 waterproof rated. Moving on to the Sulisi Owl, I have the red dot version mounted on my Dr. Cut PSA slide. This model is also available with the green dot. Just like the Oak, I torque the screws to 15 inch pounds and the screws have not backed out at all. I use the thread locker and I highly recommend you do so as well for any of your optic screws. This model is also rated for a maximum 50,000 hour battery life but has the same specs as the Oak. 3MOA dot, 24mm window, 1MOA click value, IPX7 waterproof rated, and is auto off and shake awake as well. It also runs on a top loading CR1632 battery. The main difference is the mounting footprint. Again, the owl comes in with the Dr. Viper Venom footprint. This optic has performed well. I've shot about 200 rounds with this optic, not a lot, I know, but it's been real good so far. Both models, the Oak and the Owl, come with the low Picatinny mount included in case you want to run it on a pick rail. If you're interested in one of these optics, I have a discount code available for each model through Amazon if you wish to pick one up. I got a 15% off code for the Oak in either a red or green dot and an 18% off code for the Owl in either a red or green dot as well, bringing these optics around the $100 mark. There you go guys, a quick look at these budget optics from Sulisi Optics. Would I recommend these for hard, serious duty use? No, I would not. However, I think it's an excellent option for those stepping into optics on pistols game and those that want a trainer gun or a range toy as you see here. So that wraps it up you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Till next time, peace.